Hey guys, it's Jay here. Today's date is the 31st of uh, May 2016 and I'm currently one week post up. I'm so sorry I have not made a video in the last couple of weeks. It's just been a whirlwind of things going on. Bella and I were going to try and make videos of um, a lot of stuff, but it, it just didn't happen. It was just kind of, I was just so tired the first three to four days. There was nothing happening. I was just laying on the couch and, and taking painkillers and zoning out to YouTube. So I have to admit today is probably the first day I feel like really good and able to sit up and make a video and talk to you guys for a little bit. So yeah, um, so last time I spoke to you I was obviously pre-op. Uh, I was just around the corner from getting it done. It's been crazy. So I'm only one week out of surgery. I'm like a little bit swollen. I'd like to show you guys my results but I kind of have a compression vest on with a singlet underneath so it's very hard for me to take my singlet off without Belle here to help me so I won't be able to do that today but next video I make I promise I will definitely show you um, my results but I can show you the compression vest in a little bit. So the deal was I went to uh, Windsor Private Hospital on the Avenue Melbourne it was a really nice hospital it's private so I had my own room um, I went in there they just asked me a few questions if I had any reactions to any anesthetic or stuff like that. Uh, took my weight, my height, date of birth, all that shit that you gotta go through. Then I gotta put on some like really sexy um, socks, you know the socks you get that you wear when you're on plane so you don't get blood clots in your legs. Got to put some of those on and I got to put on like a nice little robe and they make you put on like a bandage, like a really tight elastic bandage around your waist like a mini skirt. So when they've done the surgery they can pull it up over the top of you to compress everything that needs to be compressed. So that's how you go into surgery. Um, I think I was very lucky with my surgeon. I had Andrew Ives, absolutely amazing. I uh, had my surgery. I woke up, you know, about three hours later to, to a nurse and she gave me some painkillers and asked if I was okay. I was pretty sick. I was pretty yellow. She didn't think I was going to go home the next day. Um, but then I had a sip of orange juice and bleh, I threw up everywhere. And as soon as I threw up, I felt so much better. Just like, boah. A uh, little something to eat, and the first night, you know, you spend your first night in the hospital, you have a night nurse, which I wasn't aware of, until like a day early, a day prior to surgery, so I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about having someone sleeping in the room with me while I'm like sleeping, it, it was just weird, but I was very, very lucky, I had a very experienced nurse um, that slept in the room next to me, I had a buzzer on my bed, if I need to think it was buzz, buzz it, but she came in every three hours, woke me up, gave my painkillers and my antibiotics, checked how I was going, see if I needed anything, and then she left me to it. So uh, it was, I had a really good stay in the Windsor Private Hospital. I recommend that to anybody in Melbourne that's getting surgery with Ives. It was just the best option. Um, and apparently the nurse said to me that night, cause you, when you wake up, you, you know, you're groggy, but you can still comprehend what's going on. And she said that he did a fantastic job, some of the best work he's seen, sorry, some of the best work she's seen him do over the years they've worked together and from what I can gather they've worked together for quite a long period of time so I was very chuffed to hear that uh, she said he just did an amazing job like right down to the T uh, like man, she was just like you're gonna be really really impressed so the next day um, Belle came to pick me up and we had to like take off my vest take off the bandages so um, Andrew Ives could have a look at what was going on and Belle took a photo and it was just like, wow, it was insane. Like, when I had surgery, I couldn't really look down. I was quite stiff, so I was very like, ugh. And what I could see was there was, no, there was nothing there. It was just like flat, but swollen. I was, it was a mind blow, but really fucking cool. So Belle took a few photos of that. Um, we didn't video it. It was just a little bit awkward with everybody in the room. Um, but yeah, so did that and he was pretty happy with it. And I went home. That morning about 8 o'clock, 8.30, uh, and I went home with my drains, um, so your drains, I'll move this down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Um, sorry, I'm very slow at moving, I'm still a little bit tender, the vest makes it very uh, The drains are just here at the end of the scars, um, they, are, they go under your compression vest, which is quite cool because it kind of like pins them down, um, and they were quite big, the bags were quite big. We didn't film any of this, we should have, but... It was just too much of a fidget. Belle was really exhausted and I was really exhausted. We just could not be bothered with it. So I'm sorry about that. But the drains like were safety pinned to my vest. And like every couple of hours, Belle had to check how much blood was in the, 
the drain, so there's like a drain, and then this is a squeezy bit that you squish down like that, and the blood rushes into a bag that's hanging off the little extension bit. Um, so she did that for three days, she had those in, they got taken out on Friday. Um, that didn't hurt, getting my drains taken out, a lot of people say it's quite painful, but I didn't feel a thing. Um, and soon the drains came out, I felt so much better, like I had way more freedom, I could um, move around a bit more, that having this weight hanging off my chest. Uh, yeah, Belle really, she had to help me shower the first couple of days, I couldn't reach my back, I can't dry my back or anything like that until yesterday, so last night was the first night I had a shower on my own, and you know, I was able to, I got a, like a, a shower stick with a sponge on the end, I was able to get up there behind it and give it a good scrub. You have to be so careful guys when you have your surgery with your movements. Um, you'll find it yourself, don't overextend yourself, don't push yourself too hard. I think, um, like on Saturday I overdid it a little bit, I did a little bit too much. Uh, so Sunday I was really, really tired and my body felt really stressed out. So you have to rest. as sucky as it is to be stuck on a couch for a couple of weeks it is what it is it's better for you in the long run so just take it really really easy um yeah so it's been a really cool experience so the first couple of days with the shower thing i had the operation on um tuesday and bell showered me on thursday evening because that's what i've told us to do so she just put me under some gentle water and just gave me a really light wash um and then friday you put a chair in the shower because I needed to sit down and that was easy for me to sit down because when you take your compression vest off it's quite um, an unusual feeling because you think oh I just want to get it off because it's like a binder it's really tight and it's like it's compressing on your chest but when you take it off it feels very strange because you're quite swollen around here um, and it feels like there's a little bit of fluid in there which is, is normal so it kind of feels like it's doing that like there's something moving in your chest when you first start taking your vest off it's a really weird sensation. Um, I prefer to have my vest on, as irritable as it is. I definitely feel better with it on. I feel way more secure. Um, but as I'm healing, that's getting less and less and less. I don't feel okay without my binder on here and there. So yeah, the first couple of days, Belle had to shower me. Um, last night was my first attempt of doing it on my own, which was really good. Um, I'm still sleeping on the couch in an upright position. You would think, you know, oh yeah, the first night I got my drains out, so Friday, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be able to like sleep flat on my back and sleep in my bed, and that wasn't the case. I think I lasted 10 minutes in bed, not even laying flat. I just couldn't do it, because when I laid flat like that, I just felt like my chest was just boom, 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 boom. So I wasn't ready, so I went back on the couch and sat upright. Um, and it was so much better to sit upright. And as I'm healing, I can start to drop down a little bit by a little bit. Um, but your body will know what is comfortable for you. So listen to your body. It's frustrating to sleep in upright. You get used to it, and it's actually not too bad if you've got the right couch and the right cushioning and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, um, I take my compression vest off for two hours a day. Uh, once in the morning when I wake up, just give myself a break. So I've been in it since, uh, like, you know, all night, the night before. So I wake up about five-ish and probably about six or seven. I, I take my vest off and just sit there and have a bit of a breather and put it back on after an hour. Uh, and then I have my shower at night time, about 6.37, whenever I can get in there, and I leave it for, off for an hour after my shower, and then I put it back on for like bed. Only an hour at a time, two hours a day. The compression vest is there for a reason. The first couple of days, it's really irritating. It pinches around here like a binder all under here. It's fucking annoying. But you grow to, um, to understand why you have it on, because you can feel your chest without it, and it's quite a stress, like stressful for your body. Even talking now, I feel like oh, I'm very like out of breath. Um, still healing, so it's uh, I think it's four weeks with the vest on, but that's okay. I will show you my vest now. Um, <laughs> you have to be patient with me. Everything is very slow. Um, I have my pajamas on now. Uh, another friend of mine on um, NFDM gave me a helpful hip hint with my vest because at first I was just had. So oh, sorry, on Friday when you get your your drains out there's like um bandaging under here but it's just like a, it's not wrapped around it's just placed so when i took out my drains he took the bandage off and said there you go you don't need that anymore mate all you need to do is wear your vest so i just had my vest on my bare skin now it was really pinching like pinching under here around here and right here where your drains are so your drains run like that so where my drains being pressed into my side is really tender i've got two little like cuts from where the drains are sitting but they were healed they won't scar it's just like little cuts 
So um, at first I just had the vest on, it was sort of really irritable, and my friend told me to wear a singlet or a t-shirt underneath it. Now this has really helped me. Uh, you need a singlet that you can step into, because putting your arms up like that, that's about as far as I can go. You, you can't put a t-shirt on normally, so you, I'll get a singlet that's a size up for you, so you can step into it like a dress and support over your shoulders. You're going to need help to do that, because it's, it's quite awkward and hard. Um, I might be able to show you my chest, see how we go with what we've been doing. So this is your compression vest. Um, it's like a kind of like a binder. Um, like I said, you're going to be patient, everything's up very slow. But um, I'm okay, I'm doing alright. Uh, it's my first day home alone, so I'm feeling alright. So as you can see, I've got a singer that was a little bit too big for me. Um, the reason I have this tucked up here and under here is because the rubbing like it was just becoming insanely sore like pinching like well when I wore a binder this is how I wore it I had um like I started wearing a crop top underneath my binder but for a little bit there I was wearing a singlet and I was pushing the singlet up like that just to stop the irrit irritability of it all um <sighs> I'm very tired it hurts but yeah so this is your compression fest so as you can see it I'm sorry it looks a bit funny but you're going to go through this so get used to it um, this is, you've got a zip there, these two bits here are Velcro to adjust to your shoulders, everyone's got like different shoulders, um, so it just unzips, it feels amazing when you unzip it, it's fantastic, so it just unzips like that, and then you've got like three hooks, see these, like three fish eye hooks, so that is unpopped like that, you've got to do everything very gently, right, and it's just like, oh, it feels so good, I think I'll be able to show you my chest if I can get my singlet up, like, far enough. So I'm just going to pop that off for a minute. Just take it easy when you do this guys. Don't forget I'm five days out of surgery. Um, you got to take things very, very, very easily. Do not push yourself to any point. Now when I lift my shirt up you'll see I have two little bits of foam sewn to my nipples. I have a follow-up appointment with Ives tomorrow um, to see how they're going. So hopefully they'll come off. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm going to lift my singlet up and I'm going to show you guys. So if you don't want to see it, look away. I'm still pretty bruised. I think there's a little bit of yellow bruising going on. I still a little bit of pen over my chest. And of course, I've got the tape. I had a double, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. But fucking, I had double D tits, so huge. So I had the full on incisions underneath and my nipples put back on. So I'm going to show you guys. Now, <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. But you ready? Yeah, I bet you are. So that's it there. Yep. See, see these marks here. That's what I was talking about from the drains. There's one on each side. They will fade. Belle's got some cool scar cream I can stick on. These bits here are where the drains are sticking out, so they're under my vest. So yeah, that's where the drain on each side was. Um, you can see like a little bit of bruising around my nipples, but nothing too bad. Um, I'm hoping he's going to change the tape tomorrow. That's the same tape I've had on since last Tuesday. But yeah, that's what he's done. He's absolutely amazing. Like, just, there's nothing. Um, yeah, I'm hoping these little flower power things will be coming off in the next couple of days. But, you know, that's my chest, guys. Like, I was a double D. Um, I'm extremely, extremely happy with the results. Uh... I think it kind of helped that I trained a fair bit too. Sorry, there's so much movement going on right now. Um, I'm very, very happy that I, I did a lot of training leading up to surgery. Now, I've dropped a little bit of weight. I stopped um, training probably two to three weeks prior surgery because I didn't want to have any injuries. I just wanted to rest and like not stress about anything. So I've definitely lost probably about two or three kilos, which you can see. But once I'm better, I'll be smashing that gym back out and um, targeting my pecs, of course. So, yeah. Um, as you said, six weeks for training, but I'll see how I go. I'm not overly concerned about it. I was going to try and eat as much food as I can to gain some weight. Um, so that's something to work with. But Andrew Ives, guys, absolutely amazing. Um, anyway, I hope that this video has been good. And, um, you know, if you have any questions, anything, please just ask. I'm, like, I've got four weeks of doing nothing. So give me a shout out. Um, I hope you're all going well and, um, Thank you so much, everyone, for following me. I'll definitely keep you informed as I'm healing. And if I think of anything... Oh, one last thing before I forget. This morning, when I had my binder off, um, I put my hand over each thing every morning just to, to see how the swelling is going, yeah? And 
for the first time in my life, when I do this, I can feel my heartbeat against my hand. Um, having double D breasts or any kind of breast tissue there is something that women don't experience, which men do, and I had no idea. So when I did that this morning, I'm doing it now, and I can like feel my heart beating against my hand. It's absolutely insane. I feel very proud and very lucky to be in the position that I'm in. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. Be good. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.